Hello, I'm Penny Caterpillars, and today we are doing my October empties. <laughs> I have a lot of empties for October, so let me just dive right into the video. So the first thing we have sitting here is um, the Arm & Hammer cold water laundry detergent. Finish this up. Um, yeah, basically. Yep. Just don't know why I put that in my empties. Just, just, I do. Anyways. Um, finished up some Puffs cotton rounds. I think I finished up another pack. Yep. The 100 ones and the 50 ones. I buy these from the dollar store. I use them all the time. I love them. Um, I finished up this hydrating conditioner from Pure Red Professionals Coconut Water. It was a giant bottle of conditioner. I love it because I go through conditioner a lot faster than I go through shampoo. So this bottle lasted me like two bottles of shampoo and then I still ran out of this and had to use other stuff while I was waiting to finish that bottle of shampoo funny enough um which was one of these shampoos were the shampoo I used with this conditioner um it's the herbal essence repair argan oil of maraca shampoo I think I have a review of both of these things so I can link them down below if I do um but this one was a nice shampoo. It's a newer one. They came out with it. I tried the other line. Um, I think it was the Marcella Water Shampoo. I got sent that from Influencer, but this one I bought on my own. And um, yeah, I really like both of them. They're, this one's really nice. It smells really nice and it was really hydrating. Um, yeah, I don't drink alcohols in it either, but it does have sodium and sulfate in it, so I'm pretty sure, right? I should probably actually, yep, yeah. it was like before I make false accusations, should probably check that. I used up this um, Soft Soap Body Butter Heavenly Vanilla Moisturizing Body Wash. This stuff smelled amazing. I loved it. I would probably repurchase it um, again soon. I really love vanilla scents. It lathered really well. It was a really nice body wash. Soft Soap, I do really like this stuff. It's really nice. up a lot of skincare this month like a lot um so this is the l'oreal pure clay cleanser um i also have a review of this um as well so i can link that down below but this was a really nice um gentle cleanser i'm really sad that it's gone actually i do really miss it that's how you can tell if you actually like something by whether or not you miss it or not just realized i haven't even been looking at the camera i think the entire time i've been filming so that's great but anyways, really good cleanser. I'll link it down below. I miss it. Really nice. Have a review anyways of it down below. I used up this Good Things Deep Pore Cleanser and Toner, it says, but I use it as a so I use it as a toner. It's the anti-blemish. It says fig and wild strawberry. It's free from animal ingredients, sulfates, parabens, mineral oils. And I think this does have drying alcohols in it. Let me check. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, no, it does. It says drying alcohols in it, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing it. But it was a nice um, toner. And it smelled really nice. But if you like non-fragranced um, toners or non-fragranced stuff in your skincare, this one probably is not for you. Just because it has a fragrance, but it did smell really nice. I don't know how well it worked with like, the anti-blemish or thing, but anyways used up a hand soap. This is the Seize the Day Lakeside Afternoon Hand Soap by Bath and Body Works. Really like this. This was really nice. Um, smelled nice. Lathered well. Cleaned my hands really good. I like Bath and Body Works. I like to buy their um, soaps when they're on for like three dollars or something. I used up some deodorant. This is the Dove's Original Invisible Antiperspirant Deodorant. Um, I really like it. I am trying to do more natural deodorants, but I just find that they don't, I sweat a lot during the days and days. When I have lighter days, I wear more natural deodorants, and on heavier days when I know I'm doing a lot and you can be sweating more, I wear um, this stuff, but yeah, it's really nice. I really like it. It's nice. I've worn it a lot. I've repurchased it many times throughout the years. I really liked it. Um, I used up a Pixie Hydrating Milk Mist. Um, I love this stuff. It's amazing. I think I have a review of it as well. I, if I do, I'll link it down below. It is a really nice hydrating mist. 
Um, I really like it. I use it in the morning after I have cleansed and toned my skin. It's just really hydrating and a really nice gentle mask and a really good way of putting moisture into your skin. I used up a little thing of Bath and Body Works Moonlight Path um, Shea and Vitamin Body Lotion. I use this as a little hand lotion um, for my hands because they're getting really trapped and dry because they're any colder and stuff. But this was a really nice scent and I really did enjoy it. If I came across it again, I'd probably repurchase it. I used up my Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This is Hyaluronic Acid. I love this stuff. I'm pretty sure I have a review of this down below as well. If I do, I will link it down below. But I really love this formula. It is a really nice hydrating um, gel moisturizer. So if you're in the market for a new one, this one is really good. I recommend it. I don't like the dry, the extra dry skin one. That one has dry alcohols in it. This one does not. This one does wonders for my skin. It's a really nice, light, hydrating moisturizer. I love it. Really nice. And you get a lot for the price. I used up a Clinique Moisture Surge Extend Thirst Relief Little Deluxe Size Sample of that stuff. I love this. I think I have like three or four more deluxe size samples of this, but I am tempted once I finish those to maybe buy the full size. I'm not sure, we'll have to see how much money it is, but I do really like this um, moisturizer. It is really nice, and it's a gel moisturizer, really light. I love it. I've used up my Hyaluronic Acid um, Daily Face Serum from the Herber Herberitary? Herbitory. I don't know how to say this brand's name. I love this hyaluronic acid. It is really nice. I can only find it in winners um, for like $10, but it is a really good deal and it's a really nice hyaluronic acid. I think I might possibly have a review of this, so if I do, I will link it down below. If you can't tell, I've repurchased this bottle many times I'm working on. Like, this might be my, excuse me, I have the hiccups, fifth or sixth, excuse me, bottle. But I love this stuff. It is great. I used up this Kiehl's Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing and Radiance Mask. I got this little deluxe eye sample in my advent calendar last year that I got from Kiehl's. So, yeah, it was really nice. It um, had little beads in it, so it was more of like an exfoliating um, mask, but it was really nice. I don't think I purchased the full size just because I have masks I like better and for cheaper, so, yeah. Really nice. I used up a little sample of this Pixie Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. I love this stuff. I have used up an entire bottle of this before. It is a really nice um, glycolic toner. It is a chemical exfoliant, um, but it is really nice. It's a little like sample size. I think they had them for Christmas last year and they were on sale, and so I bought um, this because it was like a pack and it came with like three other little mini, three minis of the Pixie stuff for like $10 or something. So I picked up and bought it. Yeah, that was nice. <coughs> I used up this Rimmel London Afternoon Tea Eyeshadow Quad. I finally finished the three that I'm planning on using. This one I think was in a project pan or something. I don't know. Anyways, I finally used it. I've been trying to pan this for a while. Um, but I'm not using the bottom shade. It's hard pan and it's just not worth it. So I used up the three and I'm happy and glad it's done. So... Yay! I used up this Annabelle Twist Up Retractable Lip Cram in Absolute. I am sad that this is done. I absolutely love this shade. It is really pretty and there's a little swatch for you. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Sad it's done, um, but I love wearing it. I found a lipstick that's very similar to it by Rimmel. I think it's like number 40 from the Kate Moss line or something. I don't know. But anyways, um, there's that. So, yay! This is in a project pan. It's the Pixie Ipetra Lip Balm in, where is this, Natural Rose? Yes. So I am done with that. That is done right there. So, yeah, I just watched it up there. It's completely done, empty, finished in a project pan. Excited that that is done. Ooh. I finished up this Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion um, sample. It was a nude. 
it was nice. Um, I don't think I would purchase the full size of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, just because I have other ones I like that work just as well for a lot cheaper. So, yeah. Stick with those. But I am enjoying working my way through the samples that I have of it. Almost done. <laughs> I used up this Nails HQ um, Strengthener, which has coconut oil and character. I use this as a base coat for my nails. It was really nice. I used it up. I don't really know how well it helped actually like strengthen my nails, but it was a nice like base coat. So yeah, I may or may not purchase it. I'll probably use just other ones that I found. Um, this Tarte um, Tarly Lip Paint in a Birthday Suit, which was the gift set from Sephora we got last year. Um, smells real bad and I'm sad because the color is so pretty and I haven't worn it very often but um, it smells bad it smells like oh, rotten eggs so um, yeah it's time for this to go <laughs> uh, I'm sad but because it's really pretty but I have colors similar to it so it's not a big deal and it smells like rotten eggs so it was time to say goodbye to that <laughs> And I finished up two sheet masks this month. I used one's the Soleil, Soleil Collagen Moisture Lifting and Radiance mask. And then I also used up this SOS Water Balm. I think this broke me out really bad because I put this on and the next day I woke up with a ton of zits everywhere. So I'm not sure if it was from this mask or I just overloaded my skin with skincare and didn't let it have enough time to sit in or not. But um, either way, probably won't be reusing this mask. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. I think the packaging is super cute. I got this in a face Tory box. Um, it's really cute. I really like the packaging. But um, yeah, I think it broke me out. So probably not going to purchase it. But that is everything for my empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.